Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Nagios and today we're gonna to be showing you how to install Nagios XI using Hyper-V. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to navigate to nagios.com and we'll scroll down until we see Nagios XI right here. We'll click download free trial. And for this one, we're gonna be going into Microsoft and we're gonna be downloading this VHD file right here. So we'll click download now. Again, just like the OVA file, we'll enter in all of our information and you'll click download. You'll be redirected to a download screen. I already have this file right here ready to go. Prior to these upcoming steps here, please have Hyper-V set up and ready for a virtual machine. We're gonna go ahead and open up Hyper-V, make this full screen. And the first thing we're going to do is go up to this action menu up here and click new and virtual machine here. We'll click next on this first page. And we're going to name our virtual machine. Similar to the VMware Pro workstation, I'm going to go ahead and just name it XI. If you would like to change the storage location of this virtual machine, you can check this box here click browse and change your desired storage location. For the sake of this example, I'm going to leave it default. We'll click next. This is a generation one VM, so we'll click next again. Now by default, the Hyper-V gives us 1024 megabytes. We recommend at least two gigs of RAM, which will be 2048 megabytes. We'll click next. If this is an offline machine, keep it as not connected. This is going to be an online machine for us, so we're gonna switch this to default switch. We'll click next. Now, since we downloaded the VHD, we'll select the second option down here, which is use an existing virtual hard disk. And we will click browse over here to the right, and we will need to navigate to where we saved the VHD file. Mine is saved in a folder called Nagios. Here it is right here. We'll click it and click open. And then we'll click next. And here we have the specifications that we gave the virtual machine. And if you are dissatisfied with any of these, you can click back on this left-hand pane here and you'll be brought back and you can select what you desire. We're satisfied here, so we'll click Finish. And Hyper-V is going to begin building this VM. On the right-hand side, we'll see the name of our VM. Ours is XI. We're going to click Start, this third option here and then we will click connect as well. Just like the VMware Pro workstation, we were given a IP address along with some default credentials. We're going to do the exact same thing we did earlier, which is log in using those default credentials. So we'll go root and Nagios XI. Now that we're logged in, minimize this and switch over to our desired web browser once again and we will plug in that IP address that we were given by the XI virtual machine. And just like before, we'll click access and begin walking through the final installation process here. Now that you have Nagios XI up and running, the next video is gonna walk you through some of the most powerful features you can utilize immediately.